Hello everybody, and welcome to a Skyrim SE, that would be special edition, Let's Play. I'm EJ Lowell, and at the moment I'd like to take an opportunity while I'm creating the character that I'll be playing for this Let's Play to introduce the concept and the character. And some of the mods that I'll be using in this Let's Play, because as you can see, probably, I am using mods. I am using many mods. Uh, the ones that are most obvious at the moment are... Uh, Windsong Immersive Character Overhaul, which is what's giving me all of these interesting presets. As well as the Alternate Start Live Another Life mod, which is why I am currently in <laughs> a prison rather than trailing off the back of a cart toward Helgen. So, what my plan is for this Let's Play. If you've ever seen Couch Warrior TV, or... And I haven't seen her videos personally, but the Jessa channel, I believe? I'm going to be doing something s roughly similar to that. I want to be doing- I want to be playing a character and story-based Let's Play rather than going from dungeon to dungeon and beating up monsters all along the way kind of thing. So the story here will be the main focus of the Let's Play and the gameplay rather than, say, you know, becoming the best character or uh, the best build rather or having the highest stats or something like that. What I'm doing now is just trying to figure out the the look of my main character, what I want her um, her face paint to be, all of that stuff. I'm going with blue face paint. I'm going to adjust her skin tone later to make that stand out a bit more, but right at the moment I just want to be able to see her face. Um. Our character's name is Kinoa, which is a boy's name, and there is a reason for this. But she is going to be a shaman, and shamans in Hammerfell don't exactly get along well. At least she didn't. She didn't get along well with her family. That's sort of her origin story. She's in Skyrim looking to understand uh, what it means to be a shaman and what it means to have these gifts that she's been given. I'm going to be using a lot of um, Yakutan language, and by that I mean she will not be calling Kinnereth Kinnereth. She will be calling Kinnereth Tava, which is the name of the Yakutan goddess of the sky and of the wind who she claims as her matron, I suppose. Like, her guardian goddess. <laughs> Some things that I'm going to be doing gameplay-wise, I have a couple of ideas for little quirks of hers that she's going to be... Um, that we're going to be experiencing through the Let's Play. I also have more mods installed that we'll see. Um, probably the most obvious right out the gate will be a couple of um, flora overhauls, a weather mod, I think Vivid Weathers is the one I have, uh, Realistic Waters 2, and the camping mod, which I will be using a lot. <laughs> I really, really like the camping mod. I do not have Frostfall installed because that's that's just one too many things for me to try to keep track of while I'm also trying to remember all of the things that I'm doing with this character. She is going to be interpreting a lot of signs, a lot of omens, which I'm excited about. I have not yet seen a Skyrim Let's Play with this kind of character, one that if she sees a mammoth walking by in the distance, she'll think, oh, that's a bad omen, or that's a good omen, depending on the situation. Or if she sees a fox run by in the woods, she'll think, oh, I, I know what goddess is associated with that animal, and so I know 
which forces are guiding me in this direction kind of thing. She is going to be a very respectful person. She has a lot of, of regatta honor in her. She was probably being uh, groomed to be an alakir by her father when she was growing up. But she has since abandoned that life and hopes of any, any hopes she might have had of being a part of that life. Um, but she has a lot of this I will not kill something that isn't armed thing going on. So we'll see how that plays out. She will be carrying a sword or an axe or some other kind of one-handed weapon. I haven't quite decided yet whether I want her to be carrying a shield as a symbol of a shaman's drum kind of thing. I might even have her find a drum at some point. That would be that would be interesting. Um, I haven't decided whether I want her to have a shield in her left hand or if I want her to have flames or some other kind of spell. I do know that she is going to be an archer, and yes, I know that Skyrim, you end up kind of defaulting to stealth archery, but, well, okay, some people start defaulting to stealth archery. I am probably one of those people. But she does archery because of Tava and because of her relationship with birds and with the goddess of the sky and of wind spirits and all of this good stuff. She, she can call on, or she will be able to eventually call on, like, the spirit of the hawk to help her see farther and aim better, that kind of thing. So I'm going to be using a lot of, a lot of mysticism in this Let's Play. It's going to be interesting for me anyway. I don't know if it'll be interesting for you. Presumably it will be if you, wa if, uh, you are watching this but I'm going to be, it's going to be interesting for me to see how all of that plays out with the Dragonborn stuff and trekking around in like Falkreath or <laughs> uh, the Reach. I'm, I'm thinking Falkreath in particular because there are Spriggans around absolutely everywhere. Um, I haven't quite decided where I'm going to start her yet. I'll be figuring that out between now and episode one. I have also been playtesting her concept uh, with a different a different uh, save file, so don't worry, I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> I I'm not I'm not exactly a noob at Skyrim. I have at least a hundred and sixty hours in the game. If I remember correctly, I haven't checked in a while. I might have it may be more than that now, but I think this looks good. I th I like I like how angular her face is. I might change her eyebrows. I I really like how she is supposed to have a really like angular and there we go. I I liked those ones. Um like an angular and intense face cuz she's someone who deals with things that normal people don't deal with or are ever expected to deal with. She has these dreams that she can't explain where she talks with animals and other things. Genoa. Here she goes. Um, I'm not entirely sure quite yet how I'm going to uh, switch between being in character, being out of character. I may end up just doing that organically. <laughs> uh, we'll see how that turns out. I just wanted to use this episode as both a test episode to make sure all of the audio is working properly and all of the video is working properly and uh, to introduce you to our protagonist a little bit. I, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be cool. Your results may vary. Um, <laughs> this is not going to be a traditional Let's Play at all, but, you know, 
We we do what we do. We do what we do. So I'm going to select Mara here. Mara. There we go. Approach my child and choose where your new life shall begin. And with that, I am going to leave you all in suspense and start the first episode wherever I end up picking to spawn in. So until then, have a good one. And I will come up with an outro, maybe. <laughs> See you then, guys.